have also just made history with Roxana Fiaz being elected as our executive mayor for Labour and I am absolutely delighted. She's an amazing woman, huge amounts of integrity, she's going to be fabulous. Just um, beaten our previous record, we've um, uh, won the mayoral um, post with 73.4% um, and that's an inc increase of 13% from the last election. So um, it shows that there is um, a growing uh, move towards the Labour Party and the Labour movement. It is awesome, isn't it? It is, it is. But look, you know, the hard work begins now. This is not the end. This is the start of a really amazing and ambitious programme of change. And we'll all do it. We will. A clear endorsement of her uh, politics and her policies and her uh, changes. And of course, as we know, education is one of those... Uh, key areas that she's back in. It's been a very big win for Roxana Fears, which is great news for, I think, everybody in Newham. She'll be a really wonderful mayor and will bring the change that Newham needs, and uh, I think everyone's going to be very pleased about it. First and foremost, I am someone who considers myself and I'm proud to be a Newham person. I am British and I reflect the talents and the aspirations of other minority ethics of my generation that have worked hard, that have demonstrated our ability and at times we've had to work twice as hard as our counterparts in order to prove that we have the ability, the talent to occupy these roles and I recognise that my win today is symbolic on so many different levels for women, for you know, me to be the first directly elected mayor in London is very significant, but more importantly for me to be the first woman of colour to be elected, directly elected mayor in the whole of the country and possibly in Europe is even more significant and it's significant for this reason because it demonstrates and shows to every single young child regardless of their background that if you work hard, if you play smart, if you play by the rules you can get to the top and you can break glass ceilings and I have always been someone who has been about breaking glass ceilings so that others can come through because we need to have a democratic uh, environment which reflects all people from all different backgrounds. I think the future so is the bright for you. John Alana, Christian People's Alliance, 734. Joshua Isaac Daniel Garfield, Labour Party, 2400. Would candidates and agents for East and North please make their way to the left hand side of the stage. Julianne Marriott, Labour and Cooperative Party, 2,900. If you look at the figures that have now been declared so far, Labour gains are more than anyone else's gains. So I'm pleased about that. I'm glad the Labour Party has made progress. We clearly have made progress. But there's more we need to do. There's still a lot of work to be done. We saw a fantastic result here in Newham with the Labour candidate for Mayor Roxana Fiaz getting well over 70% of the vote. That's a huge uh, positive result for Labour. Next door in Redbridge, again, really excellent results for, for Labour. So there's a lot for us to be pleased about in the Labour Party, and I'm delighted, but there's a lot more work for us to do still, and we're going to be doing it. I think Canning Town is one of the most diverse areas of Newham 
and I think it's really important that we put the people at the very heart of all our decision making. Uh, and that means that when we are building new developments, we are taking the community totally into our uh, uh, decision making process. We need to make sure that we are working for everyone and not just the few people over there. Uh, that means we need to have more amenities. It's not just about building more houses, but making sure that everyone has got enough amenities for that. Um, I am absolutely committed uh, to making sure that our schools remain within local authority control. And I'm absolutely, absolutely committed to making sure uh, that equalities never take a back seat in this council. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be fighting for. And I do hereby declare that Sasha Tazgupta is duly elected. Islam is duly elected. And I do hereby declare that Rachel Elizabeth Tripp is duly elected. I'm Rachel Tripp. I was first elected as a councillor um, this time four years ago in 2014. Um, really, really delighted to have been re-elected. Another four years. It's been a, it's been hard work being a councillor, but I've been really enjoyed it. And representing the people of Forest Gate North is just a huge honour. It really is a pleasure. <laughs> This is my sixth, sixth time I've been elected and I've stood seven times. I think the new mayor will do well in listening to the public. Low turnout in our Canning Town South, why do you think that is? Well, there's a lot of new building in the area and the new buildings are quite expensive. Um, and some of them are very difficult for us to contact people there, so um, it's a continuing challenge. We should rise to it. I mean, I think it's important to underline, and I will certainly underline, the scale of the achievements of Sir Robin Wales as directly a, a elected mayor. He did an enormous amount. He was there for a long time. He was there for 23 years altogether. And if you look at the council's achievements in terms of development, bringing the Olympic Games to Stratford, this velodrome that we're in, uh, is a, one of the benefits we've got from the success of the London 2012 Games that uh, Sir Robin Wales made a big contribution to. So, huge achievements in Newham Council over the last few years. Now Roxana is coming with a fresh pair of eyes, some new uh, commitments. She made the point uh, about focusing on listening to what people in the community are really saying. I'm going to be working very closely with her. I already am working closely with her and I'm looking forward to much more of that over the, the coming months and I'm sure she'll do a great job. As I said, the budget is something that I'm going to be looking at when I step in and it's not so much the budget that the Mayor controls, there are statutory framework through which money, the budget, is spent. We have a statutory duty as a local authority to deliver services for children, young people and adult social services. And it's important for me, as a mark and as a demonstration of a different way of doing things, that any decisions, considerations, discussions around the budget, I involve a broad spectrum of people. So what I'm saying to you is, previously, under the last administration, those decisions would have been made exclusively at times by the Mayor. Under my administration, I would be much more consultative. Emma Blaney, Labour Party, 2,637. And I do hereby declare that James Anthony Beckham is duly elected. as much as I can. It's my home and four generations of family who have worked hard and we want the good times because we've had the bad. Absolutely. Because the docks was part of our history but we've got to fight to get better jobs for local people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, well done. Right. 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 Mohammed is duly elected. Yay! And I do hereby declare that Shaban Mohammed is duly elected. Yay! And I do hereby declare that Delphine Tahura is duly elected. Yay! Hello, 
politics is just one facet of community, of society. We need to encourage all young people from different diverse backgrounds, whether you're Asian, whether you're Pakistani, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, Hindu, Sikh, whether you're LGBT, whether you're black, white, Asian, we need to encourage a broader spectrum of our residents, of voters, of people to get involved in our civil society, to be involved not only in politics, but to, involve, to be involved in our schools, to be involved in our schools as governors, to be participating on advisory boards relating to the health service. We need to reverse this mindset that we're going to opt out because we're cynical about politics or because politics isn't really going to help us. Actually, politics can help, help us. Politics can only help us if we participate, if we step in and if we join the conversation and sit at the table. We hereby declare that John Morrison Gray is duly elected. Yay! Yeah! Uh, we hereby declare that Charlie McLean is duly elected. Yay! Yeah! What do I think? Yeah. You want my honest opinion? Mm -hmm. I don't think it should be recorded. <laughs> No, I feel sad that some people are actually, you know, not allowed to run for councillors, especially like Councillor Abed and, you know, a couple of people who have campaigned with us so much. Uh, you know, all of them being, being blocked, which I think is really sad, because I think the ones that really should have been blocked are still here as councillors. And um, we now need to really get this whole academization campaign going. And we need to try and save our community schools. And um, all I can say is I have no interest in politics, but I am very much interested in all our community schools being saved and this whole academization process being stopped. And that's the main reason, you know, I've actually started taking an interest in politics now. Because at the end of the day, if they don't listen to us, then we have to try and make them things do things, you know, the right way. We've got the important uh, vote of the council disapproving of academisation, not um, agreeing not to support it. We've got the um, commitment of the new mayor also not to support academisation. We've got to mobilise more councillors actually to be active in this movement, give support to the uh, anti-academising governors, the campaigners, the parents, and uh, make sure that this movement towards academisation is stopped. Then we're campaigning with the, for a general election where we hope the new Labour government will actually put an end to academies altogether and bring all schools back in, uh, as community schools. I think that's the hope for the long-term future. So I've spoken to many parents and I've spoken to young people themselves and they want to have a borough where they feel safe. So I have made a series of pledges to improve safety for our young people, including the establishment of a youth safety board. Uh, there are certainly parts of Newham um, East Ham as well as West Ham where you are where we need change. We've started to see big changes beginning in Newham especially around here the Olympic Park and these facilities are for everybody in Newham all of us can benefit from these but we need change elsewhere as well. There's a real housing crisis I think this is going to be the centre of what Roxana needs to do working with Sadiq Khan the Labour Mayor of London. Rents are going up the number of affordable homes is nowhere near enough. We've got to be doing much better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, come on. Is it this? We've been very tired of all three of all. <laughs> Obviously the main issue is obviously a national one which has penetrated down locally, i.e. the Tory government's austerity agenda, which is also being reflected upon our schools through academies, um, it's been reflected um, in the frontline services, I mean, there's, so I mean I want to put my focus on that, I want to bring the focus back to the communities. And I do hereby declare that Ken Clark is duly elected. I was first elected uh, four years ago, uh, so I'm really pleased to be uh, elected again in Manor Park. 
uh, and I think it's a very exciting time. I've been part of that process, went up the avenue, the avenue school, been on the picket line on a number of occasions, attended a, no a number of meetings. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pro uh, supporting parents, I'm very opposed uh, to academisation. It reminds me of many years ago there was something called Grant Maintained Schools and that was a very similar thing, taking away schools away fr from parents, away from the LEA in the borough uh, and, and basically uh, that was overturned because parents had the right to vote in that and determine whether the school would be grant maintained. This time round the parents do not have a say, they do not have a voice and that cannot be right. I'm against academisation, um, I support the idea of all schools remaining in the state maintained sector. We have a Conservative government that is driving through forced academisation. Presently, a Labour-led local authority cannot stop that or reverse it. But what we can do is provide an offer to our schools to ensure that they have the confidence that they will receive the support that they need to stay within the local authority environment and family. Um, I'm anti-academies. I've sponsored the motion, um, uh, proposed a motion against uh, uh, academisation, which included the clause about having compulsory ballots for teachers. I'll be making sure that the next administration um, follows through with that policy and, and, and we make sure parents have controls. We don't want our schools to go into private hands. We want our schools to be uh, within the uh, Newham family and I think that, that will secure the education of all our, all, all our school children. So absolutely I will be fighting uh, to make sure that there's no further academisation and that parents get ballots and we have changes in the way schools come out of the state system. The motion relating to academisation and anti-academisation was passed at full council. It will be one of the agenda items at the first cabinet and as soon as I get into office next week I will be looking at the agenda and I will be making sure that that's an item that we will deal with. I like going to the right. Really? <laughs> I know it's not popular nowadays. <laughs> and how long you've served this I've, board? I've been a uh, uh, councillor since 1997. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think is the difference in this election this year? Well, the difference is we're running on a very strong record, I think, of uh, educational achievement and certainly I've been involved with that over a number of years. And I think what we've done is managed to prove to the electorate we've got an extremely strong record uh, for that, bringing the children from uh, around 133rd out of 150 boroughs up to now uh, fifth in the country. So some of the best educational results in the country. And I think that really shows through in we've done free school meals, we've done a whole load of stuff over a number of years, which has really improved the lot for residents in Newham. That's something you're going to look at to actually look at the people who are at the bottom. It absolutely has to be our focus. And I think actually as a, as a Labour Council, we've had a really good track record in terms of helping people to get into work, in terms of investment in things like the experiences we offer to our children, free school meals for example, but it's absolutely not in question that we need to do more for those people and particularly housing where I think Newham is really at the sharp end of a kind of London-wide housing crisis and we need to work to find local solutions because those solutions are not going to come from national government. It's quite clear that the Tories don't care. Thank you much. Thank you. Looking this way for me, please. Well, so far I'm very pleased. So far we haven't lost a seat. And obviously that's amazing when you hold 61 out of 61 seats. One, housing. We're going to deal with the housing crisis. More genuinely affordable housing at social rent levels. Number two, we're going to address issues around youth safety. Number three, we're going to be focusing on sustainable transport. And number four, we're going to be reversing the democratic deficit. So my vision about a council where people are at the heart of everything, including our decision making, clearly has resulted in me receiving 75% of the votes. It's a very difficult fiscal climate for all local authorities across London, across the country, and the reason is because we have 
got the Conservative government that has slashed budgets, that has had an impact on our frontline services, that's reduced monies for the police that people want to see on the streets, that has cut back so that we can't offer the best possible yeah. frontline services around children and young people and adult social I'm services. I'm so I will be looking at the books when I come into post on Tuesday. I will be examining our accounts. I will be ensuring that it's restructured to deliver on the priorities of an administration, my administration. And I'm sure that she'll keep her word and carry it out. And we need to make sure that we now build a really strong partnership with schools in Newham and uh, keep them all in the community and keep them out of the clutches of multi-academy trusts. And I'm sure we can do that. And I think all of us are looking forward to her proving to be a very successful mayor. And I mean, I'm hoping that under that administration we will have more focus back down to the community, looking out for our schools, our children, looking out for the homeless um, people in our borough and the other destitutes. I mean, so it's got to be an interesting time coming forward. So um, let's see. Um, I think we're going to need to do some work in terms of a culture change in Newham. I think you know, Robin Wales has done some great work, but it's time for a time for a fresh change. And I think one of Roxana's biggest commitments is about a real culture of accountability and transparency and openness. It's going to take some time to achieve that, but I think that's going to be really exciting, and it's what our residents deserve. Do you know, I just feel just so elated it's untrue. I mean, every single one of the votes we're winning, unless my maths is completely off, We've got over 50% of the vote. Who could want more than that? It's brilliant. Brilliant. It's a great day. So what's the task now? What do you think? The task now is to serve the people of Newham properly, to make sure that the heart of all we do, and to ensure that next time we come back in four years' time, people can vote with us with confidence that we are the party that truly represents them. We can't ask more than that. Thank you so much. Thank you really good and I'm looking forward to working with an amazing uh, councillor team on advancing my new agenda. <laughs> Why are we going this way, guys? 